O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 5 Give ear to my words, O Lord, consider my lamentation. Hearken to the voice of my crying, my King and my God, for to you I make my prayer. In the morning, Lord, you will hear my voice. Early in the morning I will make my appeal to you and look up. For you are the God who takes no pleasure in wickedness. No evil can dwell with you. The boastful cannot stand in your sight. You hate all those who work wickedness. You destroy those who seek lies. The bloodthirsty and deceitful the Lord will abhor. But as for me, through the greatness of your mercy I will come into your house. I will bow down towards your holy temple in awe of you. Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness, because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my face, for there is no truth in their mouth. In their heart is destruction. Their throat is an open sepulchre, and they flatter with their tongue. Punish them, O God. Let them fall through their own devices. Because of their many transgressions, cast them out for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them sing out their joy forever. You will shelter them, so that those who love your name may exult in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous, and with your favour you will defend them as with a shield. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from Daniel chapter 2, beginning at verse 1. In the second year of Nebuchadnezzar's reign, Nebuchadnezzar dreamed such dreams that his spirit was troubled and his sleep left him. So the king commanded that the magicians, the enchanters, the sorcerers and the Chaldeans be summoned to tell the king his dreams. When they came in and stood before the king, he said to them, I have had such a dream that my spirit is troubled by the desire to understand it. The Chaldeans said to the king in Aramaic, O king, live forever. Tell your servants the dream and we will reveal the interpretation. The king answered the Chaldeans, This is a public decree. If you do not tell me both the dream and its interpretation, you shall be torn limb from limb and your house shall be laid in ruins. But if you do tell me the dream and its interpretation, you shall receive from me and me gifts and rewards and great honour. Therefore, tell me the dream and its interpretation. They answered a second time, Let the king first tell his servants the dream, then we can give its interpretation. The king answered, I know with certainty that you are trying to gain time, because you see I have firmly decreed, if you do not tell me the dream, there is but one verdict for you. You have agreed to speak lying and misleading words to me until things take a turn. Therefore, tell me the dream and I shall know that you can give me its interpretations. The, inter the Chaldeans answered the king, There is no one on earth who can reveal what the king demands. In fact, no king, however great and powerful, has ever asked such a thing of any magician or enchanter or Chaldean. The thing that the king is asking is too difficult, and no one can reveal, reveal it to the king except the gods, whose dwelling is not with mortals. Because of this, the king flew into a violent rage and commanded that all the wise men of Babylon be destroyed. The decree was issued, and the wise men were about to be executed, and they looked for Daniel and his companions to execute them. Then Daniel responded with prudence and discretion to Arioch the king's chief ex executioner, who had gone out to execute the wise men of Babylon. He asked Chariok, the royal official, 
Why is the decree of the king so urgent? Arioch then explained the matter to Daniel. So Daniel went in and requested that the king give him time and he would tell the king the interpretation. Then Daniel went into his house and informed his companions, Hadra, Mishal and Arazah and told them to seek mercy from God of heaven concerning this mystery, so that Daniel and his companions with the rest of the wise men of Babylon might not perish. Then the mystery was revealed to Daniel in a vision of the night, and Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Daniel said, Blessed be the name of God from age to age, for wisdom and power are his. He changes times and seasons, disposes kings and sets up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. He reveals deep and hidden things. He knows that it is the darkness and light dwells with him. To you, O God of my ancestors, I give thanks and praise. For you have given me wisdom and power and have now revealed to us what the king ordered. Therefore, Daniel went to Arioch, whom the king had appointed to destroy the wise men of Babylon and said to him, do not destroy the wise men of Babylon. Bring me in before the king, and I will give the king the interpretation. I will make a way in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. Thus says the Lord, who makes a way in the sea a path in the mighty waters. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my chosen people the people whom I formed for myself, that they might declare my praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. I will make a way in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert. A reading from the book of Revelation. Chapter 2, beginning at verse 1. To the angel of the church in Ephesus write, These are the words of him who holds the seven stars in his right hand, who walks among the seven golden lampstands. I know your works, your toil and your patience, endurance. I know that you cannot tolerate evildoers. You have tested those who claim to be apostles but are not, and have found them to be false. I also know that you are enduring patiently, and bearing up for the sake of my name, and that you have not grown weary. But I have this against you, that you have abandoned the love you had at first. Remember them from what you have fallen. Repent, and do the works you did at first. If not, I will come to you, and remove your lampstand from its place, unless you repent. Yet this is to your credit. You hate the work of the Nicolotans, which I also hate. Let anyone who is an ear listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. To everyone who conquers, I will give permission to eat from the tree of life that is in the paradise of God. And to the angel of the church of Samira, write, These are the words of the first and the last, who was dead and came to life. I know your affliction and your poverty, even though you are rich. I know the slander on the part of those who say that they are Jews and are not but are the synagogue of Satan. Do not fear what you are about to suffer. Beware, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison, so that you may be tested, and for ten days you will have affliction. Be faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. Let anyone who has an ear listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Whoever conquers will not be harmed by the second death. Those who are wise will shine as brightly as the heavens, and those who have instructed many in virtue will shine like stars for all eternity. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, 
born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Those who are wise will shine as brightly as the heavens, and those who have instructed many in virtue will shine like stars for all eternity. For morning prayer this morning, I'm going to use the prayer from the memorial service that was sent out in your packs. Um, this Sunday just gone was All Saints Day, and it's often used during this period, the first and the second, to remember those loved ones that we've lost. And obviously we couldn't hold a service in church, but we did do an online service, which you can find on the same YouTube channel that this video is on. But I also if you encourage people at church, you got this, and if you want to use it, you can. So I thought I'd just highlight that, and we say the prayers from this service. I will leave a pause at one point for you to bring to mind anyone you particularly um, want to remember as we pray. So let us pray. God, our refuge and strength, who is close at hand in our distress, Meet us in our sorrow and lift our eyes to the peace and light of your constant care. Help us so to hear your word of grace that our fears may be dispelled by your love, our loneliness eased by your presence, and our hope renewed by your promise in Jesus Christ our Lord. We remember today our loved ones who have died, particularly saying in our hearts now, those names we wish to remember. We thank you for those we remember today, for all that we saw of your goodness and love in their lives, and for all that they mean to each one of us. As we journey towards death, May we do so in the company of Jesus, who came to share our life, that we might share his life of eternity. To him be glory with you and the Holy Spirit for ever and ever. Amen. Almighty and eternal God, you have kindled the flame of love in the hearts of the saints. Grant to us the same faith and power of love that, as we rejoice in their triumphs, we may be sustained by their example and fellowship. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Uniting our prayers with the whole company of heaven, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.